Bitcoin. So one of my favorite things about Bitcoin is teaching people about it and witnessing that aha moment when they realize its simplicity and some of the implications behind it. Um, I do not work uh, at a Bitcoin company. Uh, quite to the contrary, I actually teach dance for a living and on the side I sing in an a cappella group. So I was thinking to myself, what can I do to combine the two things that I'm super passionate about, Bitcoin and the arts. And what I've decided to do is to put together a show uh, where I teach local artists how to accept Bitcoin, um, either as tips or uh, for their merch and music. Uh, the event will be called The Bitcoin Sessions, Helping Artists with Bitcoin. Now, the premise of the event is going to be pretty simple. The way I picture it working is <clears throat> having a handful of local artists, local acts, performing on stage, and each ticket bought for the event will include a little bit of Bitcoin, which you can redeem at the door with your ticket stub. And then, as each act performs, they will have a QR code on stage where people can live tip them during the event. The purpose of the night is not to have a meetup with a bunch of people that already know about Bitcoin, but rather to in introduce it to new people, to get um, some new faces in the community and the best way given my background that I knew how to do that uh, was through a performance event like this bringing together artists that I know um, bringing together the people that enjoy their music and showing those people a fun way to support the artists that they enjoy I'm going to tell you about a couple of the artists that are involved in the show, uh, starting with my own group, the Acapella Fellas. I've been singing with these guys for 11 years. We all met together in a performance arts troupe, um, and we just kind of started singing on our free time. Uh, now we've sang across Canada and a few spots in the States, um, and yeah. I've never had more fun than rehearsing and performing with these guys. Scott Henderson is a friend of mine. He is a fantastic talent. He does a bunch of things. Uh, he is in the Juno nominated group, The Earth Tones. He has a funk group by the name of Souls in Rhythm, and he has also been the vocal coach on the Canadian global TV show Canada Sings. Tanya Ryan, I met a couple years back. She is stunning and an incredible talent. She has been featured on CMT, which is uh, country music television, for those of you not in Canada. And last year she was nominated by the Canadian Country Music Association for a Discovery Award. I'm super excited to have her involved in the show. And she is a newcomer to Bitcoin. We've also got a group called Vinceline and they are a duo that hails from the same performance arts troupe that I was in when I was much younger. I think my main goal here with this show is to just have the artists and even the audience for that matter come away from this whole experience um, viewing it as a positive. I want them to have a good time playing around with something new and fun and 
I want the artist to realize that um, in the future with technology like this, they can start to cut out some of the middlemen, some of the people that have um, moved in and, and started taking profits from their craft. You know, when you put your music on iTunes, it's a great tool to get a, anybody from around the world exposed to your music. But at the same time, Apple's taken 30% of everything. And I mean, same with YouTube. When you put a video on YouTube, you can monetize it. And if, it's, if it blows up, yeah, you can make a lot of money. Um, but you're looking at, for 10,000 views, between six and $60. And when you look at a service like the one that just popped up, Watch My Bit, where, um, you know, where you're charging a few pennies for every view, um, something like that, you're making 10 times as much. You're making, a, a, you know, a minimum with their current fee rate. Uh, for 10,000 views, you're making, you know, $600 maybe. Um, so, so I think it's a great way for artists in the future, maybe not yet, but um, soon, to be able to start to cut out some of those middlemen and to start, um, you know, actually profiting from what they create and, and actually make a living at it without having to, to pay out to a bunch of people in between that aren't offering much. The main obstacle for this show is going to be making sure that we have sponsorship in place uh, so that the costs um, are covered and that the money from ticket sales and uh, all of that goes actually to the artists so that the artists are you know benefiting from the show they're not just you know doing a show for free it kind of negates the purpose if that's what happens um, so we will be completely transparent we're going to be listing uh, all the costs associated with putting on the show and anything that we get beyond that will go directly to the artists um, we're going to put up QR codes uh, not only at the show but on the website um, so if you if you there's somebody that you particularly like you can shoot them a tip if you if you're uh, already a Bitcoin user um, we're looking into having the whole event on Streamium, which would be fantastic. And yeah, we're just gonna try and do anything we can to uh, support these artists and teach them about something fantastic and new at the same time. Because I don't have any self-control The harder I try to get off it